case. So with this kind of a question, right, it's it's definitely um, one of those questions where it stacks up very, very um, deliberately. All questions are like that. You can see here, they asked to show that the height is kind of written like this, right? But let's see, Sam has a 16 millimeter, 16 meter slow cable to wrap around a cylindrical tank to strengthen it. Then he says, the, to strengthen the tank as shown in the shaded sketch. Okay, fine. So we know everything should add up to 16, right? Of which you said, if this is 2H, I mean 2R, this is 2R. If this is H, this is H. So you will say it here, the 2H plus 2H, 2R plus 2R, this gave you a 16 and then you solved for H. Perfect, you see, this went over uh, and then you divide by two. So it was like eight minus 2R. So that, that was for the first one. The second one, write the volume of the tank in terms of R. I'm pretty sure that was also doable. It's a volume of the tank. So we, we need the volume of the cylinder, right? Yeah. Which is just pi R. Squared, uh, pi r squared times the height because it's yeah. the area of the circle multiplied by the height being upwards perfect so of which doing that was just a matter of replacing h with this if you're going to write it in terms of r right so the reason i'm doing all this is because there's no ways we can do three i mean 9.3 without these questions so multiplying inside we just have to be careful here and then this is what we have, right? Perfect. So this is the volume equation in terms of R. Now for three, for five marks, which is more like the main event, you know, they said, what must the radius and the height of the tank be so that the volume of the tank will be a maximum? So the only thing with this question is the variable R. That should, that should be your main focus. Everything else, you should consider it as a constant. And remember, we said whatever they're talking, whatever they're talking about, if you have a formula for it, you're safe. So they want us to work out a value of uh, R and H, where the radius, where the tank will have a maximum volume. So without worrying about this here, what you can just keep in mind is okay, you have a volume equation, check. And we said regardless of what you may be thinking. Anytime they mention maximum or minimum, you're gonna take the equation you have, you're gonna differentiate it once. So it's gonna be two, right? Here you're multiplying by eight pi. So multiplying that by eight pi, you're gonna have 16 pi r. And then here three times negative two pi, you're gonna have negative six pi. And then r to the power of two there. You've differentiated. We said you're gonna make your equation equal to a zero. And then here you're gonna solve for r which is fine because you're gonna be getting the R value that you need to get. And clearly, as long as you get a value of R, you can throw it in the equation here and get a specific value of H. So this equation gives you H if you can give it R. So here, solving for R, we can factorize as it seems, it looks like we can take out two pi R as a common factor. Here you're gonna have eight left. Here you're gonna have minus three, R. Because if you multiply inside, you should always be able to go back up here. So if you multiply inside there, you're going back. If you multiply inside there, you're going back. So it's fine. So here, therefore, 0 is equal to 2 pi r or 0 is equal to 8 minus 3 r. So clearly, here, this is telling us that remember, the reason you're getting two different answers is because this question could have asked maximum or minimum. It doesn't matter. You would do the same thing. This is, to say, this is to say one of your answers is going to result in the maximum volume, the other one in the minimum volume, which makes sense because here, if you divide by two, uh, two pi on both sides, R is a zero, of which logically speaking, if R is a zero, you have the lowest volume possible. Here though, if you take the three R to the other side, it's gonna be neg positive now. Divide both sides by three, R is like eight over three. So clearly, for you to have a maximum volume, R has to be eight over three. So that's the R for H, yeah. we know it is like eight minus two R. So it's like eight here minus two R. And then we just have to use our calculator here. So it's like eight minus two multiplied by eight over three. 
that's gonna that's just giving us eight over three, which is weird. It's like, wait, what? Really? Yeah, it's giving us eight over three as well. <sighs> yeah, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Can't fight it. Yeah. Accept. So yeah, that's that will be that for that question yeah. there. It's quite strange, but you know. <laughs>